there's this term called interoception um, in the newer research. This is so key. And I, so many autistics, we're all talking about this. And we all have these to varying degrees. The other thing is I'm only going to talk about like me. Every autistic is different qualitatively. Like I don't have trouble with all of these, but I definitely have trouble with some of these. Some autistics are, have much more difficulty, very limited or no ability to understand when they're hungry, when should they eat, when they're tired, they should go to bed. Um, now I have hypersensitivity to temperature. I'm always freezing and I'm always overheated, overheated. So, and I've talked to other autistics that are the same way. So I just have horrible hypersensitivity all the time to temperature. Um, I know when I'm tired, that's, that's, I know when I'm tired, but I sometimes, it was more in my twenties and thirties, I would miss meals because if I was busy with errands or doing things during the day, I didn't think to eat. It either, either I would end up shaking, you know, where you're having that shaking, all of a sudden I just felt like I was going to collapse. I needed to eat. Or I would tell myself, Janice, you didn't eat dinner tonight. Um, and the pandemic's kind of brought that back because there's no structure in my days anymore. You know, when you work in the morning, you eat your brain, you got to eat breakfast, lunchtime. Oh, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to eat my lunch. But um, without structure, I do have trouble getting signals sometimes that I'm hungry. What I really struggle with is when am I coming down with something? When am I getting sick? I can't tell the difference between that and tired. They feel exactly the same to me. And then every time I end up in bed sick, I will actually tell myself, Janice, this is what sick feels like. You have to remember this for next time. And I never do. I can never get in that you're, you're sick versus this is sick, not tired, sick, not tired. It's only once I'm sick that I go, all right, this is what sick feels like. If other people experience it, experience that, and you don't have an autism label, then it's not autism. It's just a universal thing. But I feel like other people seem to know. I mean, it could be wrong. I've never really done a poll. You know, do you know when you're getting sick? But I struggle with it um, until I just end up bedridden. Um, but anyway, but if you have a child or an adult or you or somebody you work with, somebody you live with who will stay up even though you can tell they're tired and they're insisting they're not tired and they're getting angry at how dare you tell me I'm tired. They are not recognizing, their, their brain is not able to, one, their body isn't sending out signals of this is what tired feels like, this is what tired feels like, and the brain isn't interpreting that. So they really probably sincerely don't realize they're tired. Why aren't they eating? Or my mom was an overeater. She, her brain wouldn't tell her when to stop. So, um, you know, you can have either extreme. Uh, my brother will go out when it, to shovel snow. I mean, one time he didn't even have flip-flops on. He had short, t short you know, and, and everybody talks about this. They'll go out and bare feet and t-shirt and shorts when it's 20 degrees out, their body isn't signaling that they feel cold. And, and my brother also has a much higher threshold. Of, I'm hypersensitive to everything. I'm one of those, you, you come near me with a needle, I'm already going, ow! He's uh, the opposite. He can experience uh, much more pain than I can before he will recognize he's in pain. So, it, and that's all interoception, the ability to understand your, your body giving you signals, your brain interpreting it. So this is important to get away from behavior. When someone's screaming and yelling that they're not tired, that they're not hungry, or that they are hungry and they don't wanna stop eating, or that they're sick or they're not sick, or it's time to put a coat on. No, and I'm not gonna wear a coat. They could also have, and this is also tied into sensory issues. 